Let's just know that Ezra is the worldwide first motherboard manufacturer to support the EUP standard. And today, we take this chance to proudly announce that P55 Deluxe and P55 Extreme are the worldwide first motherboard to support, to meet the EUP 2.0 standard. Okay, maybe take this chance to explain what is EUP and what, what is the difference between EUP and EUP 2.0. So according to EUP, the total AC power consumption of the complete system should be under 1 watt in off-mode condition. So, as you can see that on this figure, to meet EUP standard, the EUP ready motherboard and the EUP ready power supply are required. So compared with EUP, the EUP 2.0 is stricter. Because based on the EUP 2.0 standard, the total AC power consumption of the complete system should be under 0.5 watt in off mode since 2013. So as I mentioned before, today we're hereby proud to announce that our P55 Deluxe and P55 Extreme are the worldwide first motherboard to achieve the UP 2.0 standard. Okay, now I'm going to show you the power consumption difference between um, ASRA EUP ready motherboards and other competitors PP5 motherboards without EUP support. Okay, I guess you guys would love EUP. Okay, now we're going to have a um, power consumption comparison test, especially when the system is on the off mode. The first system we're going to test is um, Gigabyte P55 motherboard. And uh, right now, of course, we're testing with um, UP ready power supply. It is actually an Ekbel power supply, which is a UP qualified power supply. And uh, with this kind of configuration, you can see that. Okay, right now the system is on the off mode. However, the Gigabyte P55 motherboard still consumes 1.6 watts. So it definitely cannot pass the UP standard because uh, according to UP, the total AC power consumption of the complete system must be under 1 watt. All right, the second system we're testing right now, there's uh, MSI P55 platforms, and uh, we're using the same configurations. And right now you can see that when system is in off mode, according to the um, power meter, okay, it still consumes 1.3 watts. Okay, so it definitely cannot pass the, the UP standard because according to UP standard, the total AC power consumption under the system power off mode should be under one watt. All right, now last the the last system we're testing is um, SRock P55 Deluxe. Okay, you can see that we're using the exactly same configurations, same CPU, same VGA card, same memory. Especially we are testing with the same UP qualified power supply. Uh, as we know that P55 Deluxe is UP 2.0 rally, so you can see that right now the, the total AC power consumption under the system off mode is only 0 0.27 or 28 watt only. It is below 0 0.5 watt, uh, it's according to UP 2.0 standard. Okay, so the P55 Deluxe is really, you know, consumed less less power, especially under the uh, system in off mode. It's meet UP 2.0 standard. All right, here is the final result. We can find out we are using the exactly same configuration here. Okay, same CPU, same memory, VGA card, hard drive, and power supply on different mainboards, including the Gigabyte P55, MSI P55, and SROC P55 motherboards. And you can see the final result here. The Gigabyte, the standby power consumption is 1.6 watts, MSI P55 is 1.3, and SROC P55 Deluxe only consumes 0.27 watts. So only SROC P55 on the boards can pass the EUP standard, even the EUP 2.0 standard, as you can see here. For EUP, it should be under 1 watt in off mode, so both of our competitors cannot pass the EUP. And for SROC P55, we can pass the EUP 2.0. That is um, 0.5 watt in off mode.